So I wanted to cover the basic structure of the game and explain how the open world of Dropsy fits into an adventure game framework. Um, as I'm sure you know, most adventure games require a chain of sequential actions in order to complete a puzzle. These actions generally revolve around interacting with set pieces, finding items, combining those items with other items, or using the items on set pieces, or interacting with NPCs. Um, I haven't done away with that stuff entirely. The major difference in emphasis here is the fact that puzzles are geogra geographically oriented. Uh, the world is littered with hints that get more and more frequent and apparent as you near the geographic core of the puzzle. Once you discover that core location, um, the solution will basically smack you in the face and you'll only be required to perform one or two of the aforementioned traditional actions to solve the puzzle and progress in the game. Uh, this allows puzzles to support the narrative in a stronger way, and it helps alleviate problems that arise with hard to decipher game designer logic. It'll just, it'll be very narrative based. Um, though often bizarre and humorous, the game's world does take itself a little more seriously than other graphic adventures in that it's interconnected. It's organized by a few nuanced people groups or factions, if you want to call them that, who control various portions of the map or who just reside on various portions of the map. And all of them relate to one another in some way. And that really helps in deciphering uh, puzzles as well and bits of story.